So I'm gonna unpack and then I'm gonna pack for Amsterdam because I'm leaving tomorrow <laughs> to go to Amsterdam. So it's currently 8.30 and I have been packing for Amsterdam. Obviously I'm not gonna bring that duvet. The duvet was just sitting in my suitcase and I need to bat because obviously you can store stuff in a suitcase when you're not using it. Uh, I really don't feel like packing. I've been like packing up and unpacking and packing up again for like days now. I'm very much over packing, but I do have to pack stuff for Amsterdam so I can't just, you know, up and leave. Hey, it is 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, a little past 9 a.m. It's like 9.05 and I'm about to leave for Amsterdam. I packed everything. I took out the trash. Everything and anything I did. So I'm heading to St. Pancras now. St. Pancras, yeah, I have not been here in forever. Cool, I've made it in the train. Let's go to Amsterdam. Made it into Amsterdam. Look who are here to pick me up. Hey, a future staff me here because my video is a tiny bit messy but what happened here is that my parents picked me up they essentially brought me back to their home which is also the home where I grew up as a kid and my mom was kind of like prepping all these snacks and stuff and kind of told me to wear my step first go wear something nice I was like oh okay are we just gonna take pictures now because there's Dutch tradition of putting out flag out of your house when you've graduated and you put a backpack on it or whatever and my parents had the flag out which is obviously lovely uh, with a mortarboard on it <laughs> and they were kind of like oh yeah you just have to like dress up and stuff and I didn't know and they actually planned me an entire graduation party <laughs> so that was really sweet of them <laughs> Ja, dat maakt niet heel erg uit. So I woke up to this this morning. And my parents made me an entire Sunday morning breakfast. It's very sweet of them. I look forward to having it, including fresh orange juice. Who doesn't love fresh orange juice? Very excited for it. So this is today's challenge. Getting that thing out and just helping my dad in the garden. I'm wearing some kind of um, Zero's M Kids outfit. If you know M Kids, you know what I mean. If not, it's bad. There we go. We're getting there. We're, uh, we're on our way, nearly there. Getting a tree out. Oh, look at that. It's going. Going, it's going. It's going. Hit my fair share of hanging on the tree. Nearly there. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So that was out. Next project's right there. Look at that. The puma came to help. It's not been the greatest help. She's been complaining about getting more and more food. Hey, welcome to Monday from my parents' car. I spent this morning going with my dad to the hospital where he had an appointment. From there, did some work on my laptop. Didn't really do much interesting. My dad is also working on a DIY project. So I'm going from the one DIY project in MCR to the one at home, straight into the next one, which is totally fine. I like DIYing, which you have probably guessed by now. So we're heading out to a DIY 
DIY store in the Netherlands. We're gonna buy some wood, I think. Might just look at it and buy it later. I don't know, he wants to take me to two different ones. So we're gonna see how that goes. What's there? I don't know, it's his project. So I'm just along for the ride and helping him out carry stuff and that sort of thing. First, like, I need to go and pick him up from the hospital again. So I will be doing that now. Concrete, check. Second store, new chances, more stuff to find. Store number three. Found ourselves some wood. I'm have to check out. I to find more bike parts for my bike project back in the UK. Store number five. Still looking for an axe. Found an axe. We did it. Finally, store number five. Had the right size axe. So the axe did it. We managed to get it out, finally. We didn't manage to do it yesterday, which was kind of frustrating, but look at that, it's out. And the hole is absolutely massive. Now we still have to cut that one down, cut this one down. New day, it is Tuesday today. Having some coffee with a few. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and we are off to The Hague. Made it to The Hague or Den Haag. I would say it. Hop on hop of pram. That's new. We're going that way. It's currently walking around. Found the square, which is called the square. Rather interesting. But fine, it looks cute. It looks very Dutch. Missed that. More sightseeing. We'll be doing sightseeing for the rest of the day in The Hague, which is pretty fun. I haven't been for a very long time and Klaus hasn't been... Well, Klaus has been probably, but he just doesn't remember. He probably has been it when he was a small kid. This is a little tower where a prime minister works. It's very pretty. Let's go see the master painting panorama. So this is a massive panorama painting. So this is our world peace flame. I think most countries have an eternal flame that's just going on forever. And this is the one that we have in the Netherlands. So this is Thursday and Thursday I spend meeting up with a bunch of my friends. The first friend I met up with is from my course, from my bachelor's back at the University of Amsterdam. And I hadn't seen her in such a long time. So it was very nice to see her again. And afterwards, I went to another pub where I met up with a bunch of my university friends, which is absolutely wonderful. I, I thought I was meeting up with only like two or three of them. And then they surprised me and there was like, I don't know, nine, ten of them, which was absolutely insane. And it was wonderful to see everybody again. It was also very convenient because I was only in the Netherlands for two weeks. So it was amazing to have everybody just there at the same time. I miss cycling to Amsterdam so, so much. And then afterwards we managed to go to Fabo, which is kind of like a burger place. It's like a fast food place where like seven of us had some burgers. <laughs> And on Friday, we ended up going back to the first store again to pick out some wood for my dad's DIY project, his fence in the garden. After some wood issues, finally checking which ones we're buying and kind of collecting the wood we're gonna use. Mission accomplished. Found 28 of them. Welcome to Saturday morning. The wood made it. Then Klaus and I ended up going to Ikea for a little bit because we do need some furniture shopping for a new flat in London and Ikea stuff generally is the same everywhere. So we thought we might as well just, you know, go to Ikea in Amsterdam and just order stuff online for our new flat. We're testing couches. We've gotten to the stage where we're testing couches. And after Ikea, more DIYing. Hey, 
hey, it's Sunday and I'm sorry I've been a bit flaky, so I'll fix it up like, I don't know, when I'm editing about my entire week. It's been a lot, I'm sorry for the noise, but today Kaz is leaving, he's going back to the UK, he's grown up, he has an actual job, he has to work, and we're gonna just drop him off at the station and say goodbye, and I'll be staying for another week with my parents here, which I really look forward to. I spend some more time with my parents and some of my friends, which will be absolutely fun. Also today, sadly, I canceled my Pred subscription because I'm no longer in Oxford. I am going to be home now for a bit until I find a job, so there's no need for me to actually have a coffee subscription. When I'm going to be in most of the time, Noch Klaus! Oh, it's hot, dude. <laughs> in the rain. Fortunately, we're inside, but it's pouring down. 